Hi, can someone be here in two seconds? Well, we have a room uh, filled with people ready to hear you. So I'm going to turn it around so you can see them, and they are already seeing you. Do we ever still have a chance to run away? <laughs> it's all yours. The sun will be here in two seconds. Thank you, everyone, for inviting us. It's all yours. Okay, we are ready. But you have to speak up because we can hardly hear you. We hear you perfectly, and they're ready for you. So if you'd like to, to start and to just introduce yourselves to everyone, then the floor is yours. Okay. Well, I don't know if it's evening or morning at your place. But uh, in any case, good afternoon. Uh, this uh, strange looking Arab by my left is uh, my brother, Basama Amin. Uh, he's uh, the most, the closest people to me on earth. I look up to him and admire him. Uh, we both are members of the uh, parent circle, the Israeli Palestinian bereaved families for peace. We both have paid the highest price possible. We both believe that uh, beyond right and wrong, there is something uh, which is called respect. And we share this respect towards one another. I've lost uh, my 14 years old daughter, Smadar, uh, 17 years ago on a suicide bombing in Jerusalem. Uh, ever since I've started uh, a journey a long and uh, frustrating journey of uh, redefining myself uh, as an Israeli, as a Jew, and as a human being, finding people like Basam Awami, many people like Basam Awami, which I call brothers and sisters, which are my partners for uh, justice, peace in this holy land of ours. Thank you for having us. Uh, good evening or uh, good afternoon. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, as uh, my brother uh, Rami says, when we talk about beyond violence, we understand the result before. In our case, we try the, the violence more than 100 years. And the result, no one is safe. Israel is not safe, Palestine is not free. More blood, more pain, more victims, and we never think about it. Violence became a normal part of our life. When we understand that this violence is part of the death industry, the victimhood industry, uh, we decide to raise our voice and to say this is not the way. It's not written any anywhere in any book that we need to continue killing each other. Our struggle is very clear. We demand to end the Israeli occupation of the Palestinian people. We believe that the Palestinians must be free and have their own rights. At the same time, we believe that the Israelis have the right to exist. And this and be secure of course. And we also go for a human way, civilized way, the non-violence way, which is very difficult. Because unfortunately, most of us, we think about our past, and we use the future to improve the past. We need to understand that past is past, it's over. We need to create our future, and our future we can only exist together if we use non-violence, if we respect each other, and if we understand that all of us have the right to exist and to look for work. We need to learn from the history. History, unfortunately, repeats itself. And during our tours all over the world, we have the feeling that most of the people lose their humanity 
and the humanity became something strange. And we, when we talk in a reasonable people, people look you look at you as stranger, unbelievable. We are normal, and this is the normal way. This is the human way to discover our humanity and to go back to our roots as a human being. I wish you the best, and thank you very much. Yes, you can. All right. Would it be okay if we open up to have some questions? Absolutely. From from yes, please. Here? Okay. Is there anyone who would like to? Firstly, can you hear me okay? Oh, you can I'll repeat it for you. So if you ask, I'll repeat it to them. So, first, of course, a, a huge thank you to them for, for being here with us today. Thank um, you. I was very interested to hear about um, your interaction with the Family Circle, I believe it's called, and whether they could speak about some of the benefits they've seen uh, for that in the context of the conflict. Uh, well, for the first question, uh, we are lucky enough to have our families with us, supporting us, uh, in fact, personally, I'm the less active member of my own family. Everybody heard about Professor Nurit Pered El Hanan, my wife, which I'm proud of her, and my sons, the refusings. Um, the work within the framework of the parent circle is uh, rewarding in the sense that uh, it looks forward and not backwards. It uh, creates hope and not despair and will for revenge. And in that sense, the ability to give uh, 1,000 lectures every year on behalf of the parent circle in Israel and Palestinian high schools put a lot of cracks in this wall of hatred and uh, fear that divide our nations today and create a, a passage, maybe a small one, but a crack in the wall which will open for the light to come through. Yeah, I want to add that <clears throat> just to be together, it's a message of peace. Israeli and Palestinian, we are ex-enemies. Uh, we became brothers. We became in the same side. We called for peace. And the other side, people who don't want peace. Just to be together, it's a proof that it's possible. Peace is possible. Reconciliation is possible, and our major goal is to create a reconciliation process to be included in any peace agreement. Otherwise, we will have only ceasefire. I wish to have ceasefire, it's good, but it's not lasting peace. So, we are not alone. The parents have to bring families, around 600 families, and also combatants for peace which is a joint Palestinian-Israeli organization from X-Fighters, we try to spread the same message, that there is no military solution. We are not cowards, we are not afraid, we can fight, but it doesn't work. We lose our lives and our kids and our families for nothing. We understand that we need to share this land as one state or two states or zero state, Otherwise, we will share it as two big graves to our people and our beloved ones. Need to come speak to you directly so you can hear it. Sure, we don't scare, you can come. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Salam, Michel. Uh, I am Humit uh, from the local organization Euro Mediterranean Resources Network. Uh, my question is. Uh, um, uh, you, uh, you said you are working with the other groups like uh, ex-combatants for peace and uh, uh, like-minded groups. Uh, mm -hmm. I wonder if you are collaborating, cooperating with uh, uh, other groups who use the arts and cultural techniques uh, to promote the uh, uh, culture of non-violence. Uh, pe uh, people like um, Freedom Theatre. Uh, 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 some people perhaps know uh, that they already did uh, brilliant productions under the uh, late uh, Juliana Mercamis. Uh, yeah. so do you uh, cooperate with the uh, artists and uh, cultural activity groups? And the second question, the 
small question is, uh, please tell us what we can do from here to support and strengthen the uh, We were personal friends of uh, Giuliano. We visited him in uh, Nablus in the theater. We, we are warning him every day. Uh, the Paris Circle collaborates with any peace movement who wishes to look forward and uh, find a solution to this conflict. Uh, but the Paris Circle is a unique uh, organization. This is the only organization on earth that does not seek new members. And this is the only organization on earth that uh, gained the uh, deep respect of both nations, Israelis and Palestinians for those who pay the highest price possible. So in that sense, uh, I think uh, uh, we, our uniqueness works uh, for us and we do the best we can. What was the second question? What do you want them to do? How they can help oh, us? Oh, okay. I, I will just, just to mention that in Combatants for Peace, we have a group, we call it the theater group. So we use art also to promote peace and reconciliation and to bring awareness among the Palestinians and the Israelis. Now what you uh, can do, I think, is the most important question of the all. And I will uh, give you this uh, message from the very special place where we are transmitting for. We are uh, sitting in the Hungarian town of Kishvald. Uh, Seventy years ago it was a flourishing Jewish uh, town. Nobody left. This is the hometown of my late father, who, who was uh, an Auschwitz uh, graduate. And uh, 70 years ago, one day, took my grandparents to the ovens from here, from this uh, cursed place. The free and civilized world stood aside and never lifted a finger. And today, while our two nations are massacring each other without any mercy, the world is still standing aside, which is a crime, because standing aside is a crime while a crime is being committed. And the responsibility of each and every one of you is not to stand aside. We do not ask you to be pro-Israeli. We do not ask you to be pro-Palestinian. We demand of you to be pro-justice, and we demand of you to be against this ongoing occupation. Now, I want to add one last sentence as a as a Jew with a deep respect for my heritage, ruling and oppressing and occupying millions of people for so long without any democratic right is not Jewish, period. And being against it is not anti Semitism. You can quote me on this, you can use this word in order not to stand aside. And um, just to add one sentence what Martin Luther King says, that in the end we will remember not the words of our enemies, but the silence of our friends. So always don't keep silence and don't take a side. Be pro justice and peace and not to be pro occupation. Any more questions? If it's a difficult question, you can ask it to Rami. I Yeah, it's uh, it's very difficult, but those people who are very cunning very brave people who decide that we need to be honest with ourselves. We are not going to kill because of friends or family or society. Because they love Israel and they want to live in a moral country, they refuse to implement illegal daughters and kill kids and civilians from the Palestinian side. I think our message is a very strong message, that if we can sit down and talk from both parties, anyone can do and anyone should. And we prove that 
In each side, there is a battle for peace. Nothing easy, it's very difficult, it's a wrong, word, uh, a wrong way, but we will continue because this is the only way possible to live together and to exist together. Thank you. Thank you. being part of this very special day together with us. Thank you. Your words have touched everyone. Drew, what a list. Joe, you are beautiful. Oh, I love you both. You inspire me every day. Thank you. So much. You are our hero. You know that. No, you're my hero. That I said that to say to us that we are your heroes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I wish you well the rest of your family. Thank you. Hope to see you soon. Okay, you okay. will. No problem. Bye. 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 Bye.